Hey guys, welcome back to Tom Spark Reviews, the only independently owned. Can I get some fucking help in here already? VPN review channel here on YouTube. Unlike other channels that are pretty much owned or have investors from VPNs themselves, this channel is not owned by any VPN. We do our own reviews here from community driven and my objective analysis from pure data. So if that sounds good to you, if you want to support an actual reviewer who will not only tell you what's good about a VPN, but also what's bad, why won't it open? Not just the good stuff and not being owned by those VPNs. Well, I think you've come to the right place. Also, if you want to help support independent media just like mine, use my links in the description down below. Or you can go on those other channels and use their links if you want to just... No, actually, if you do that, you, man. Hey, guys, what's going on? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Uh, someone from my Discord uh, asked me to make a video about this, so I thought I would. If you want to come to the Discord, come by and check it out and give me suggestions, and I might make a video based on what you're suggesting. All right, guys, so let's get into this video. So today I'm going to be talking about what are the best mesh router systems. I'm going to be talking about the latest and greatest, um, what in my opinion is the best one to choose. Now there are different mesh systems based on the speeds you can have, whether that be a gigabit per second. So that's probably going to be Wi-Fi 6. Anything above a gigabit per second would be Wi-Fi 7. Wi-Fi 7 is the newest and pretty much latest in terms of routers and mesh systems. That's something I'm probably going to be testing soon if possible. Right now I'm using a Wi-Fi 6 system um, with Asus. So there we go. But let's go ahead and discuss some of the different options. So I think some of the top ones are probably going to be Unify. Um, this is probably some of uh, uh, the good kind of packaged options with a different ecosystem. Um, and then you have something like um, the Netgear Orbi. Um, this one's going to be around $800. This one is going for the Wi-Fi 7. Um, so you can get up to 11 gigabits per second. I doubt it really gets that high. Really, the fastest you could get in the United States is around five gigabit per second. Um, so, yeah, um, I, I need to test these more. Um, but this video is more talking about kind of which brands I like the best and kind of my experience testing different versions of these. Now you can get the Aero Pro 7, Wi-Fi 7 for around $700. And, of course, the Asus Zen Wi-Fi bundle here for around $950. Um, so that is very interesting. Um, we also have, like I said, from Unify, um, something kind of like this. This is an enterprise grade. Um, we have a couple different options here. Honestly, I don't have too much experience with these products. Uh, I've kind of stayed away from them because it is kind of like a closed ecosystem. There are some interesting kind of options for cameras and stuff like that. Um, but all these things are very pricey, as you can see. Um, you definitely are going to be paying top dollar to be in this ecosystem. Kind of reminds me of Synology, kind of like that. Um, but if you're looking for a very kind of plug and play ecosystem kind of play, um, then it might be worth going with one of their kind of mesh systems or Wi-Fi. Um, you could get this one here. Um, this is a Wi-Fi 7's performance um, access point. Um, so could be something worth looking into if you really want to go for that ecosystem plug and play thing but just to be transparent i don't have a ton of experience testing out the unify just because everything can get very pricey like i said with these cameras and stuff if you want to do it that way um but we also have something like netgear now netgear is around 800 dollars on amazon for this i've tested out some netgear stuff in my experience but in my experience the the polish and software is just not really there. Um, they've been making routers for a long time, um, but I just don't think the, the software and reliability factor is there. Um, Netgear makes so many different wide range of products when it comes to networking and routers that I think it's just honestly a little bit too much. Um, so I just personally don't think this one is the one to go for. We have something like Amazon's Aero. Now I've tried these and, and, and in some ways there's some interesting things going on with Aero. Uh, one, uh, um, sometimes ISPs will actually use this as a modem, which is kind of funny. So that could kind of be useful to have uh, that ecosystem experience. 
But at the same time, Arrow is always pushing you to subscribe to something, always trying to get you to bundle in something within their application um, with extra features being locked away. So that's definitely annoying. I definitely think the plug and play exp experience here is pretty good, admittedly. It's very easy to set up and very user friendly. Um, that said, I did have some issues with slowdowns and having to reset the routers often when I was experimenting with a system like this. And overall, I just found that there was a lot of reliability issues when it came to speeds and the router is kind of getting overheated and stuff. I would have to reset it to kind of fix my speed test, which was really annoying. Next up, I could talk about Asus Zen Wi-Fi. Now, if I was going to upgrade, I honestly would get something like um, this. Um, this one seems very good. Um, I have the Asus Zen Wi-Fi 6 kind of compatibility with Wi-Fi 6. I have a couple of them. And I've been very, very impressed with these routers and mesh Wi-Fi system. Why is that exactly? Well, it's because Asus has a very, very good application that's actually pretty powerful. Um, as you can see, it's right here. Um, the nice thing about this is that you could customize the DNS very easily. You could even use VPN integrated within it. You can have a guest network. Um, really just the app is very, very powerful. It's very easy to set up as well. It's kind of like it's got all the convenience and usability of Aero system, but also way more power and customization that is not offered in Aero system. So in my experience, it's definitely the best one so far. Reliability seems to be very good in terms of speeds, not really needing to be reset that often um, compared to something like Netgear which I, and Aero, which I always had issues with. Um, there's a lot of different packages you could get to. You can get the Wi-Fi 6 system, which is pretty affordable. I also think that then the routers they make look very nice and perform very well with very good coverage. Um, so in my experience, if you're really looking for the best mesh Wi-Fi system with a lot of customization for privacy and security, I think I would go with the Asus Zen Wi-Fi. Now, like I said, you can get the Wi-Fi 6, Wi-Fi 7, um, depending on your budget and capability of your connection. Um, so that's going to be my final verdict on this one. I don't need to make it much longer, to be honest with you guys, because that's kind of simple there. Um, so if you guys like this video, you want to help support the channel, I'll be putting links for these products in the description down below. They're probably not going to get you a discount or anything. It's just a simple Amazon affiliate link. It'll help support the channel at no cost to you. And if you want to check out some of my favorite VPNs and other products, like I said before in my intro, check the links in the description down below.